Well, I've finally arrived at the Cotswolds and um, it's a lovely day, lovely view behind me. Um, really looking forward to the week here with all its lovely subjects. Hello, Litley. Have you had your breakfast this morning yet? Of course, when you're in the uh, Cotswolds, and particularly Broadway, um, you come across these lovely features like the Man Cave. Now, the Man Cave is, um, well, if you're looking for a special piece to put in the Man Cave or your living room, really, then really this is the, um, this is the place to visit. A lot of stuff in there. When the sun's on these lovely old buildings, they make a, an exceptional subject to paint. Well, my final painting of the week is the War Memorial here. In the, just on the green um, in Broadway. Okay well there's the view in front of me um, we've got the lovely memorial to the left lovely bit of depth in the middle um, and uh, lovely Cotswold stones uh, cottages on the right so um, there's my paper it's completely blank at this moment but it won't be long before we have some colour on uh, and I'm not putting any drawing in I'm purely doing this um, with paint really well because this is Cotswold stone um, I'm going to start off with raw sienna and all I'm going to do is just map out basically where the buildings come um, just to get a rough idea of uh, the composition really um, we've got that lovely old building there um, and that heads quite nicely towards us like that and uh, fairly tall feature that building so let's put some perspective in that's it and that's the corner of that building then we have part of that building coming like that that's the roof line and then we have the roof of that which will be in strong sunlight so that's pretty much mapping it all out really um, which is uh, really all you need to do at this stage I think uh, got the sun shining on that and um, now we need to show the the road as it swings round at that sort of position and comes towards us quite uh, quite quite sharp actually uh, then we've got the path that runs around there like that and that comes across and that then comes up to there like that we do have an area that turns in we have an area that comes out and back the memorial that's quite important to the whole th subject is here and that stands somewhere about that sort of height there now it's quite a large feature and we're just high enough to to see the the edges of that like that and then we have an area like that comes along like that and that sort of like is pretty much it I think then we have the structure on top 
there and then we have this lovely memorial that stands up like that quite a tall feature a lovely taper to it and a lovely sort of cross section on the top like that and like that so that pretty much does it that will be in shadow so that will be in full sunlight we've just got buildings in the background that need to be blocked in that comes across there like that a little bit of depth about this this scene which is something that I find um, useful when uh, painting here in the Cotswolds but, uh, got a lovely old tree coming up there but we won't worry about that for the moment just get the roof of that old building in there and plenty of windows going on or oh, and section there so really all we're doing at the moment is mapping out everything chimney there looks like a chimney chimney there pretty much a chimney or oh, there's one right on that gable end there um, other than that I think that's basically mapped out the subject okay now the front of those buildings they really shine yellowy sort of honey colored uh, now the windows are darker so we can put the honey stone in and the windows later um, we've got a roof area there but that's basically it so that's that there there's a shop window there shop window there that finishes like that yep that does it right now i'm going to produce the background now and i'm going to use a little bit of greenery in the background cobalt blue with raw sienna mainly cobalt blue because plenty of blue in the distance because that's what I'm looking for to create a film of depth right in that distance there and picking up that roof line that comes down there like that so that's the far distance now we can put in the sky working from that pull that up into the sky pull that around the chimney and around the top around the buildings that's it around that area now we've got bright sunlight in the center so i'm going to show that by putting in a bit of warmth a bit of red there too in the sky above there we go okay now what we can also do is to pull that distance in front of that building there so that's created a nice soft area for us to imagine what's around the outside now I'm putting in some darker color just there darker blue there Let's put some darker blue over the chimney that wouldn't be a bad thing to do darker section there we're now showing the clouds really um one two little touches there so the memorial will be dark against that lighter sky just have a cloud coming in at the top now that needs to be probably allowed to dry bye bye I'm, I'm hoping to <laughs> okay well let's crack on with the road now it's slightly on the bluey side as it heads behind there but then I just introduce a little bit of light red as it turns so that really um, and that comes towards us around that corner there like that then a little bit more light red and that just tucks in like that and the road comes through like that 
and then right in the foreground plenty of light red my old favorite light red to pull that road forward and also it creates the lines heading the eye into the, the picture really now the buildings they are going to be um, cobalt blue in the distance cobalt blue rural sienna with light red now it's going to be mainly cobalt blue and light red because I want those buildings to sit back so it's going to be quite blue and dark um, so we've got a dark roof there like that good thing about working the daylight today you get a lot of um, it dries very quickly which is something that um, you don't always get if um, if you've not got this lovely sunlight I'm adding a little bit more blue to this now because I want that to hold that's it and then a little more red with a little more blue because this has we have a chimney there and we have another chimney there and then we have this lovely roof area that will sit nicely in that position I'm going to paint around the uh, the memorial purely because that in general will be somewhat lighter and that's got to be coming down to about that position I think I think that's probably about right there we go and then we've got with this dark colour again we've got a roof area there and another roof area there they're just windows really um, yep I think that probably does it quite nicely um, probably suits that quite well now I'm going to add more raw sienna to that because we have the main building here but this is all dark you see and um, it's got to remain dark too um, a couple of windows there one there one there and then we've got another one there so and other than that that Cotswold stone is in quite strong dark colour like that now we can add more raw sienna to that to create the Cotswold stone here and the Cotswold stone here and it's just carrying straight through just like that there are windows but we can put those in at a, at a much later date and the same there a little bit lighter as we go around the corner because it's just hitting hitting the corner really um, good and uh, now we've got to do the roof line um, which is uh, quite uh, quite dark but it has a, a nice bit of light to it so I'm going to scratch down trying to leave plenty of white paper like that that's the idea of getting that uh, lovely light effect there 
and the same goes for this area here there is dormer windows but we'll deal with those dormers at a later date hopefully so we have to keep this very very light at this stage and if it's kept very light at this stage we can always go darker uh, later on okay let's put some green in so in there we go raw sienna cobalt blue and a little cadmium lemon with the cobalt blue gives us a nice green that will blend nicely away into the distance like that and that is in shadow at this stage it's in shadow there is a path now that comes towards us like that so that's always interesting a lovely green here so that's um that's working quite well okay so that finishes more or less there and then we add a little more of the lemon yellow and a little bit more blue before we get to another area of grass there and then finally an area of grass here that just slightly raises up really like that and then this same area of grass continues uh, here like that and here like that and that does it for basic laying out of the colours well I've got a dark bluey green for the um, there's uh, a window here not too high up that. that heads like that and that sits on a Cotswold stone there's another window there that heads like that and like that that sits on Cotswold stone so there's sections there sections like that one section down there that's it and then we have a window there, a bit of light on this one, with a door, and then another window here that's just, we're calling that going out of picture, because I think it probably does, a small roof on that. go now I'm going to put the roof on may as well do the roof now and that is the old Cotswold stone again cobalt blue light red and raw sienna a little bit more cobalt blue in this because this is the grey slate um, of the roof really that, um, that uh, sits at a bit of an angle and it's actually going to sit like that so it overhangs there like that and then we put some windows above and uh, we're there really hello there I've just spotted someone who I recognize on Instagram ah. And that's you, of course, isn't yeah, it? it may well you be. are Mr. Man Cave. I guess I answer a lot. So yes. That, that one of them? Yes. yes, yeah. I recognise the face. I'm sure I know you from somewhere. Well, I'm on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, last year, I went to film that shop, and you were just moving over. Right. Yes. Do you yes, remember yes, that? I remember. And I you opened yes. the door up, and you said, "This is the Man Cave, but it's not the proper Man Cave. Yeah, <laughs> the it, proper one is over there yeah, now." So I, st I see you're still going over there. You've yes, still got yeah, still, yeah, still both, both stores. Yeah, yeah. It amazes me where you source all the stuff it's, from. It's, you know. Unfortunately, things tend to come to us now. So Good. when we first started yeah. in our little store, it took yeah. a bit of work to yeah, build yeah, up the yeah. reputation, I suppose, that we've got. Yeah, um, indeed. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, as it always does when you're, yeah, when you, you know, starting, when you're starting yeah. out. But 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. The work pays off. But there is some, there is some very unusual stuff in there. Yeah. I'm absolutely it's amazed, yeah. you know. We, at we about, like to be a little bit different. And some of the yeah. stuff isn't for everyone, but people tend to come to us because they know they're going to get something different. Quirky. That's right. Yes. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, yeah. Normal shops that all seem well, to that's, the same stuff. that's right, yeah. I mean, that's unusual. I mean, I don't know of another one of that type, you know. Yeah, I don't think no, there is not, not that similar things, but yeah. Yeah, not, not really, but so. um, yeah, that's well, it's nice to see you to see and you see uh, you. keep up the Enjoy good painting. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The perfect weather for it as well. lovely. Bye. Well, that's the man from the man cave. Okay, well I can now crack on. Let's just check that's in focus, yep. Now, the next area will be, ah, a little bit of shadow work on that gable. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little weaker with these shadows, because up till this point this week, I've been quite heavy, and there goes the picture. Luckily I caught it before I lost. Okay, well I've retrieved my painting, that's all part of the plein air, um, all the fun of it really. So anyway, I'm going to now paint in the shadow on the gable end of the, that main building there. It's going to be quite dark, but not too dark. Then we've got a chimney that stands like that. And the gable end stands like that, which is... Uh, May take another coat of colour shortly, but we'll see. The only thing that will stop me is, um, is rain now, which I'm really hoping doesn't happen, but um, just see, quarter ten past five, okay. Right, now we have a window there, let's bit more red to that. There's a window there, fairly high up, so let's put that in high up like that. Comes down like that, and the gable end comes down there like that. Then we have another window there, comes down like that, the gable end comes down like that, and then the final window that comes down like that and that shoots out of picture. So that's um, always a useful uh, part of these uh, lovely old buildings. I love these, uh, these um, gables. We've got a window here, I believe, and another window here. Maybe another one there. I'm just putting in the shadows, really. And we have another one there, so that's uh, pretty good enough for me, I think. Now we're going a little darker now to pick up a window here. Like that. Another window there. And I'm then going to pick up another window here. Yes, that comes down to that sort of position and that sort of position there. Good, now we've got another window there. We've got another window there, another window there. And we've got one in the gable there got to pick up that gable end there. It's always vital that you pick up these lovely gable windows. Um, we've got another window there. And we've got another one there. And another one in the lower area there and there. Oh, we've got quite a large one there. And another large one there. Good! And that's getting there with the windows. Now it's the Cotswold Stone um, that really is a feature here with this uh, memorial. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm pulling in 
some lighter stuff to start with and then some darker stuff as we go to, as um, as we come down um, now the lighter putting in a really light tone along the the upright here just got a little bit of light showing like that but then when we go up into the sky I add more blue and more red to create a dark tone because against the sky you get that sort of silhouette effect which you gradually lose as it heads down towards the building and then once we get high enough uh, you get this lovely sort of crossed section like that and that heads down like that and across like that that's it and just blend that through yeah. good well can't go wrong I don't think well, is that the theory of it anyway? But of course, in practice, it could all go pear shaped. But all being well, um, things should turn out pretty fair. Now, I'm going to start putting in some real darks now. And the darks, there's a large tree positioned here. So that's going in. That is going to be burnt sienna. Plenty of burnt sienna with ultramarine blue. So burnt sienna, ultramarine blue to create that dark tree. Now the first thing you need is to pick up exactly where that's going to be so I'm going to put that there just so it shows really lovely dark tree I love these lovely old trees that head off up like that and I'm using this pointed mop again um, I always use that in the early stages of lots of these sorts of paintings because um, it uh, helps to show up. There we are, we can use the rigger later on and then all I'm going to do is just soften that along the base like that. good things are going well well now I'm going to go in with a, a large rigger to pick up these windows and that's got a lot of blue on there and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that shortly that's it and then we've got some more windows there and really lining these windows up because it will it will give it that meaty effect that um, I think uh, um, does the trick with these old buildings dark windows in there then we've got the gutter line there plenty of ultramarine and use burnt umber still but sorry burnt sienna for uh, a lovely lovely old tree that stands here it's one that stands there like that got some green leafing but and it is lighter than that but I'm going to put that in fairly dark at this stage 
uh, and we'll put another one in here that's uh, in front of that uh, building there don't want to interfere too much with that distance but um, yeah that's looking good there's another one here lo another lovely old tree these trees hides, hide a multitude, multitude of sins really these trees uh, in this foreground area and also the distance of course um, always uh, a nice uh, thing to have in clean the brush and just melt them into the into the ground now these trees have a little bit of spring spring budding on them so I'm going to put that in like that it's lovely spring budding that um, just a little bit on that one not too much there isn't a great deal on that one anyway that's it but the one in the background is quite just dark really we've just got dark leaf um, sort of twig shapes really so that's all I'm picking up on these outside edges of this tree there like that it's all a matter of cap, cap, keeping light trying to capture that light effect that uh, can be so elusive according to how you treat these subjects now I'm just picking up some darker stuff for these branches and I want those to stand out clearly and although the background buildings are in sunlight are in shadow I want those to appear to be in a lot of shadow still want them to appear got a bit of light to them that's good let's just remove the sunlight from that you may be able to see that a little better if that's the case there we go now I'm going in with some window details there with this dark color again um, I don't want to get into too much uh, detail there's a door there uh, and that comes right the way down of course it doesn't finish that's it and then we've got the other window there which is like that and then this is more or less all in dark shadow good let's get some shadows in now the shadow work is ultramarine and Indian red and we don't want to be too dark but as you know if you're too light you don't capture that uh, feeling of, of sunlight which um, will come from that that tree like that. and this will be all in shadow so that's apart from top sections of course that may reflect a bit of light like that and another area like that it and then a bit more red in there for the 
the shadow that comes from that towards us then there's some lovely shadows like that from those trees can't beat them once you get shadows in and there's shadow work under the roof line there down the left hand side of the windows down there down there oh and that goes right to the um the floor the path there that is in shadow and that's casting a shadow that's in shadow and that's casting a shadow like that so is that that's it then we have a shadow under there we have a shadow for the windows like that. we have another shadow there goes in deep then it pulls back then that's in shadow it pulls back again and then that's in shadow it pulls back again and that is in shadow there that is in shadow there and we've got a shadow in the reveal of the door and then we sweep that across to get a feeling of light really now we're looking at uh, finishing touches really and um, my old favourites because they do make a big difference to the uh, the look of the uh, subject um, always a good uh, thing to do we have some reds to put in there from the section there section there section there and then we have another area there and we've got a section 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 like that and you can now see where the memorial sits onto the um, the path really now we have a little bit of detail running there a little bit of detail running there two little touches as we go away into the distance like that it's brilliant it's all coming together a little bit of flicking uh, right let's do that again section there and there is another chimney on there so I'm going to put that in I've not put that in yet I'm going to put it in dark for no reason other than I actually forgot to put it in so there you go and then this can then be justified with something a little bit darker down this gable and just spread that through just allow the water to do its own thing really a bit more red in it now but other than that just allow that to come down wet it let it run there we go Don't run too far. Up you come. Set. And lift that off before it runs out of control. Okay, we've got a bit of writing on there. Some restaurant writing. Bit of detail here and there in the windows that's it that's 
set. It's good. Detailing there. Yep. That certainly picks up the light. Pick up a couple of figures. Uh, just got to make certain I get the heights right. One there. And that, of course, will have shadow running like that. Going to put in another one, a little bit more blue in there, uh, here. Two figures about. There's always lots of people around, so that helps the overall look of the, the thing. Then here we go. A real dark colour now. Dark blue. I'm going to make this all dark in the end. So let's make that dark like that. Dark like that. Across there. And that starts off fairly thin and then it widens. Bit more red going in now. Get that nice and dark up to there. Then this is quite dark in the shadow, and that is quite dark in the shadow. Bit more blue going in here. That's quite dark up to there. That's even darker where it sits on the pavement. Good, well I like that. Just bring that out just to balance it just a touch. Looked a bit uh, a little bit off centre to me. As you paint you work things out as you go along really and um, what I'm going to do, do I add a bit of yellow to that and that will come up a little on the greeny side but the reason for that is I want this to be a little darker here I want this gable, I still haven't quite got that dark enough oh that's it, yeah a bit more red perhaps that's better, happier with that There we go. And then that roof line there. Just a matter of balancing it all up really. To achieve that loose Cotswold stone effect. Which is um, what is always pleasing to see. All gives it life and light. Let's make that a bit deeper. There we go. And then that, where it's green, let's make that a bit more like toned like that. There we are. And the same there. And then we put in some little edges we can see there, the little edge there as it runs away into the distance. Um, we have a shadow there, it's cast a shadow up the roof line there like that. Um, all these varying shadows do make all the difference to a subject of this sort. Just before we finish, I'm going to put in the um, the poppies rings for Remembrance Day. 
um, old something that um, is should be um, shown as far as I know as far as I can see and it really um, is um, required uh, they are there I didn't want to make a lot of them but um, I think they needed to be there and we do have some very light in the center so let's see if, let's see if I can put some yellowing in the center to, just to lighten up the centers well that's not work so there we go there you have it that's the war memorial here in Broadway Well there you have it, um, that's my um, depiction of this lovely scene here uh, of the War Memorial um, in Broadway on a lovely spring evening. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, click the link at the bottom right hand corner and um, we'll see you all again very very soon painting somewhere um, who knows where?